Obama emerges from hiding acting like he's president now, makes nasty announcement about Trump. As always, former President Barack Hussein Obama has taken it upon himself to be the jackass that he's been since day one. Friday an Obama spokesperson Kevin Lewis. Why does this charlatan still need a spokesman? who is a former Justice Department official released a statement responding to the failed GOP Obamacare repeal efforts. The Republican efforts to repeal the Affordable Care Act failed last night in the early hours of the morning. Last night's vote served as the final kill shot to the seven-year Republican-led effort to repeal Obamacare. The Affordable Care Act has always been about something bigger than politics. It's about the character of our country. It's about the 20 million Americans and counting who've gained the security and peace of mind of health insurance, and the tens of millions more who benefited from upgrades like free preventative care, such as mammograms and vaccines, and improvements in the quality of care in hospitals that have averted more than 100,000 deaths so far. It's about the dreams protected, and the untold misery and ruin prevented. Today, it remains that way because of everyone who mobilized organized and made their voices heard. The Affordable Care Act has made America stronger and healthier, but there will always be more work to do. President Obama has always said we should build on this law, just as members of both parties work together to improve Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid over the years. President Obama still believes that it is possible for Congress to demonstrate the necessary bipartisanship and political courage to keep delivering on the promise of quality, affordable health insurance for every American. Since this too, bit charlatan just can't seem to keep his dog eating mouth shut I think it's about time we talked about the lies he told about Obamacare and wipe that a-hole smirk off his face one. If you like your healthcare plan, you will be able to keep your healthcare plan. Millions of Americans had their health plans cancelled, some even more than once, and the Obama administration knew this would happen but lied to all of us about it. I am one of those Americans, too. If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor. Obamacare instead narrowed provider networks. Millions of Americans were unable to see keep their own doctor, myself included. 3. We're going to lower your premiums by up to $2,500 per family per year. Obama claimed this law would work alongside employers to lower the health insurance premiums of the average family by thousands of dollars every year. But millions of families saw their premiums increase by double digits every year since the law was forced down our throats. My own insurance went up $850 per month. 4. No family making less than $250,000 a year will see their taxes increase. Obamacare adds 18 new or increased taxes, many of which hit the middle class, myself included. 5. I will not sign a plan that adds one dime to our deficits, now or in the future. Obamacare adds over $6 trillion to the deficit long term, and Obama knew this for a fact since day 1-6 I will sign a universal health care bill into law, that covers every American. Obamacare will leave over 30 million without health insurance, myself included. All it did was ensure those under the poverty level which already had Medicaid and uninsured those in the middle class who are a threat to the Democrat party, and who can never forget the architect of Obamacare and his famous quote, you can't do it political, you just literally cannot do it. Transparent financing and also transparent spending. I mean, this bill was written in a tortured way to make sure CBO did not score the mandate as taxes. If CBO scored the mandate as taxes the bill dies. Okay. So it's written to do that, Grubber said, in terms of risk-rated subsidies. If you had a law which said that healthy people are going to pay in, you made explicit healthy people pay in and sick people get money, it would not have passed. Lack of transparency is a huge political advantage, and basically, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever, but basically that was really really critical to get for the thing to pass. Look, I wish Mark was right that we could make it all transparent. But I'd rather have this law than not. Jonathan Grubber America. It's time we face it. The naiveness of the people on the right who believe the GOP in their seven year lie of repealing and replacing Obamacare. Coupled with the wanting to believe in the first Amerian president of the people on the left. Has brought us to today. Obamacare will fail. That's a fact. And instead of going back to what we had before. Both parties will drive us to a single payer system.